Hello Year 3, welcome to Wednesday's English where we're carrying on with our SPAG focus for the week and today we're going to be looking at similes and so here's your success criteria to go through uh, quickly first and the first thing you're going to do to be successful is you are going to be able to identify what makes a simile what is a simile, how do we, how do we decide whether something is a simile or not you are going to be able to write your own similes and you are going to have finally the recorded task is to write your own poem using nothing but similes um, and you're going to describe yourself using only similes it's going to be lovely so to be successful today you are just going to need a pen and paper you might want some different kind of pencils or gel pens or felt tips or something if you want to present your poem in a different way if you just want to write your poem you only need your pencil or your handwriting pen um, and some paper so first things first we are going to look at some examples so the first one on here is very small. I'm really sorry about that. The first one on here is this classroom is as cold as ice. And that's absolutely true in this classroom right now. Because I've got no children in here, in Nebula, while I'm filming these videos, the classroom feels so cold. It's as cold as ice. The ogre barked like a rabid dog. Oh God, that sounds frightening. And the boy moved snake-like. Now, I'm going to think, just like Homer Simpson there, about what these are and what they all have in common. Press pause if you can think what they might be and what they have in common. And then press play once you think you know. So, I think that these are examples of similes. And they are examples of similes because they use the words as or like. The classroom is as cold as ice. It's comparing one thing to another. The boy moved snake-like. He moved like a snake. Now, I've put on here that that is year six level writing because if we use like... And a hyphen, which is this uh, dash just here, it's a hyphen because it's in between two words. The boy moved snake-like. That tells me that it's the same as saying the boy moved like a snake. It just improves that the quality of that writing by saying the boy moved snake-like. And the ogre barked like a rabid dog. Well, we're using like to compare one thing to another. So those are all examples of similes. Now, just like I've said there, similes are a comparison between two things using the words like or using the words as. And here is the same, uh, the same simile, just used with the two different uh, ways that you can make a simile. The first one is using the word as and the second is using the word like. Her smile is as bright as the sun. Her smile is like the bright sun. Both tell me that her smile is the same as the bright sun. It's comparing her smile to the sun. And so I can use like to do that or I can use as to do that. Now, similes are wonderful because they're so straightforward. If you ever, when you come to your key stage two stats, if you had to identify a simile, you'd straight away look for the words like or as because those are going to be your similes. So what you are going to do now, I will move me over here, is you are going to have a go at writing your own similes. Now, if I just said to you, write your own simile, that would be actually quite tricky because it took me a little while to think of all these. However, if you've got the sentence data, it becomes much easier. So what you've got to do is you're going to press pause in a minute and you're going to come up with some ideas that you could put at the end. More often than not, what you're going to put at the end of your simile will be a noun because you're comparing one noun to another noun. So today, I am feeling as fresh as a... I'm going to compare myself feeling fresh to something else that is fresh. So uh, the well-known catchphrase for this would be today I'm feeling as fresh as a daisy because daisies are they, they're in the morning sunshine, they're really fresh, you pick them in the summer, they make you think of fresh, uh, healthy, natural, I'm feeling as fresh as a daisy. Um, and they come in springtime as well, don't they? And so if we're feeling fresh, we're usually feeling at the start of something. So I'm feeling as fresh as a daisy. John runs as fast as A. We need to compare John to something that runs fast. And I want you to try your best to avoid the obvious cheetah. See if you can think of something else. John runs as fast as A. It could be uh, a phrase. You could say as fast as the fastest uh, race car. Or you could just say, as a race car. It's up to you. But what I'd like you to do now is press pause and write these sentences out. See if you can find a noun that you can put at the end to compare the first thing in the sentence to uh, something that has those characteristics. Press pause, have a go, and then when you're ready, press, pause, uh, press play, and we will go through and I'll give you some examples and see if yours match up with mine.
Okay, hopefully you've got these sentences and they are written out for you. So, today I'm feeling as fresh as a daisy. I'd love to hear if you've got some different ideas. You could say as fresh as the morning sun. You could say as fresh as a blade of grass in springtime. You could say whatever you want. You could either, like I said, use a singular noun or you could turn it into a noun phrase. John runs as fast as a race car. John runs as fast as a McLaren Formula One race car. You could say whatever you like. My best friend is as stubborn as us. So I need to compare my stubborn best friend to something that is also stubborn. So stubborn means when you refuse to do something. So you don't want to do it. And, you, and sometimes children are notoriously stubborn, aren't they? So I might actually say my best friend is as stubborn as a toddler. My little boy at home, he is a toddler and he refuses to do anything. Even if it's something he really wants to do, I will say, would you like a biscuit? And he'll say no, because that's his first thing to say is no, because he's very stubborn. But actually when he thinks about it, he'll say, oh yes, I do actually, of course I want a biscuit. But my best friend is as stubborn as a toddler. I'd love to know what you've got that you think is stubborn. After that meal, I feel as fat as a pig, as a elephant. You could turn it into a noun phrase by saying a pig rolling around in the mud. Or you could say as fat as a Tudor king after a feast. You could say whatever you like there, couldn't you? My nose can smell like a... Hmm, I need something that can smell really strong. I'm going to actually say my nose can smell like Sherlock Holmes. Or my nose can smell like a, like a detective because your nose can sniff out uh, mysteries. You might have said something like, my nose can smell like, I'm trying to think of an animal that smells really well. Hmm. Send me your ideas, help me out. I can hear like a, hmm, like an owl. Do owls hear? I think they do. Yeah, they've got little ears, haven't they? I think they've got very good hearing. I can hear like a wolf. Wolves can hear danger from far away. You could say whatever you think about hearing. What, what can you hear like? And the cloud was fluffy like cotton candy or like candy floss or like cotton wool. You could say anything there, couldn't you? You could say the cloud was fluffy like a baby lamb in spring. You could say whatever you like as long as it compares one thing to the other. It wouldn't work, would it? If I said the cloud was fluffy like a brick wall... Why wouldn't that work? Yeah, it wouldn't work because I'm comparing a fluffy cloud to a brick wall and saying they're similar. I don't think they are very similar. So now we have done, I'm just going to move me out of the way. Um, now we have done that, I just want to give you a little quick tip on how to spell simile because half the time with these new uh, terminologies in Spanish, half of the battle is being able to smell them, spell them even, not smell them. So, the top tip for how to spell simile is that you smile when you see a simile. And if you can see, I've put the I in red because I smile when I see a simile. That is how I always remember how to spell simile. So, your recorded task, we're there already today. Your recorded task is to write a poem about yourself only using similes. So, you need to think of all your different characteristics. You could think of your physical attributes. So you could say, my hair is as golden as the sun. My eyes are as blue as the ocean. My um, teeth are as white as pearls. You could say, what well, you could think of your personal characteristics. And then you can go to your um, personality, your, your, um, your personal characteristics. So you could describe your kindness. I'm as kind as a nurse. I'm as thoughtful as Einstein, or I'm as intelligent as Einstein. I'm as artistic as a painter on a painter's retreat. You can think of all your different characteristics and then you can compare them to something else. As long as you've used like or as, you will be comparing them. So the challenge for you, once you've done that, is to see if you can turn them into expanded noun phrases. So if we look here, my ears can hear like a rabbit. That would have been a good example, wouldn't it, for me to use rather than thinking about an owl. Goodness knows what I was going on about there. So my ears can hear like a rabbit. I could perhaps turn that noun rabbit into expanded noun phrase. My ears can hear like a white fluffy rabbit hopping through the... 
uh, running away from danger. My brain is as smart as a scientist, um, so you can turn scientist into uh, my brain is as smart as an award-winning scientist. My nose can smell like a hungry grizzly bear. Expand it, make it better, add more detail to it. And then I want you for your final challenge to see if you are able to turn it into a year six level simile. My heart is elephant-like. That one doesn't work too big. Oh, it does, kind of, doesn't it? Because it says it's really big. Think of the one that works the best. Um, my eyes are ocean-like. And then you could always expand afterwards, you couldn't you? You could say, my eyes are ocean-like, deep and blue. Wow, it sounds like I'm writing something for Valentine's Day, doesn't it? So, have a go. Send us your poems. I can't wait. And what, we, what us teachers, I think we might do, is print some out and see if we can guess who is being described by the simile. That would be a really fun game for us. So, send in your uh, simile poems to us. We'd love to see them. Hope you're all doing really, really well and you're keeping safe. We miss you absolutely terribly. And I will see you tomorrow for some metaphors. Ooh.